Tech fans, what's up? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. Now, right off the bat, I want to say that today's video was sponsored by Kano. We're going to be taking a look at their Pixel Kit, which is something very interesting. Now, the Pixel Kit is a light board that features 128 LEDs that's very easy to put together and code with. It's not only fun, it's totally educational, and you can learn how to code simply by downloading the Kano app. So with that said, let's jump in. Let's check out the unboxing and see why you guys are going to think this thing is not only fun, it's totally a learning tool as well. So first off, folks, obviously, here's the box in front of the box, the back of the box for all those people who care about that stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and pop the cap here. And inside, right off the bat, you guys are going to see that it, there's a little thing that says, let's go. Now, inside of this, that's where all the information that you're going to need to set this thing up and get going. So I'll go ahead and just... Uh, Open the other flap right here. There's another little flap right here. I'll spin that back around for you guys to see so you guys can see that better. And you guys can see all the parts and everything are right here in the box. So nothing's like going, oh my God, what do, what do I need to do? Well, there actually is one requirement that is required to use the Kano product. And that is that you do need to have the ability to read whoever's putting it together. So after that point, you could probably play in the computer forever, but to put it together, you'll need to read. So take a look here. This little book right here that I'm looking at, this is about making make a light board. So this is obviously one of the things that's uh, telling you what to do. Get there. And then uh, I think these are some nice stickers. Oh yeah. So, you know, kids love stickers. We all know that. And even a lot of people, even adults, like stickers on their guitar cases, on their stuff. So if you're a person who likes stickers, Kano's got you covered. Okay, what else we got in here? Looks like even more stickers. Okay, so there is a mass variety of stickers in here. Just a lot of stickers. So if you like stickies, hey, I got you covered. Anything else in there? Nope, it is empty. Okay, so, so it says, hi, I'm Judoka, your Pixel Pal, and I'm going to help you build and code your own light board. Ready? Let's go. So that's the first step. So the first thing we're going to see in this here is the Pixel Brain. That's this particular part right here. This is the part they're telling me to get out and have in my little hot hands. And you guys can see that there's a uh, three USB ports along the side here. A little turning control knob right here and then an additional button over here which is probably most likely the power button i don't know that for sure yet but i'm just kind of guessing that's what it is so next up is the case so this is your case whoops it's sliding around i guess i'll just set it off to the side for a second here is your case a little different than your standard pc case really really small then we've got additional USB cable right here. This is obviously what's going to plug into your computer because you plug one end into the Pixel Kit and the other into your computer. So we've got a mode dial. That's this particular piece right here, the mode dial. Joystick and buttons, okay? Joystick and buttons. I see these buttons right here, these little tiny red things right there. Let's make sure you guys can see them on camera and everything. Little red buttons, I'll set these all out here. Okay, we have the battery. Kind of looks like exactly the same as you see, like almost like a standard foam battery. So here's your battery. I'd imagine I can probably put that in here now. Just pops right into place, pretty much just like your phone, like I said. This is a filter. I guess it's a little light filter to fuse your light so it looks okay. Then we've got the tilt sensor. Now, what the tilt sensor does is this actually, when you have it put together, you guys will see, you can play games with this, you know, like playing a little handheld game, or with the lights, you can do fancy things with your lights and the lights will move according to how you move it. So it's like a strap to hold together. I'm just looking here and see if there's anything else additionally in here. And I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it as far as the parts go. Now, it does say there's a Kano code app, but I guess that's just telling you to download the app online. So. Obviously, you're going to have to download the app because you're going to be doing it through your computer. Okay, so finally get to the actual instructions. Pick up the brain. Turn it over. All right, I've turned it over. This is its computer. Kind of figured that. Go through here, look through this thing. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and what's also cool is that through a microphone, you can actually talk to the Lightboard computer using the Kano Code app as well. So that's kind of cool. Didn't really know it did that. So the two red little buttons, they go over here on this side. Very easy to do. They just simply pop right on there. It's not magic. The last piece you're going to put in the circuit board before you put it in the case is the dial. It has a little notch right here. So once you match the notch on, it slides right on. And then you just simply put it inside the case, set it down nice and gently. There's a thing on the bottom of the case that actually locks it in place so that way it doesn't fall off anymore. And then you just finish the final assembly. 
actually a lot easier than I'm making it look like. I just, like I said, folks, I shake a lot for my nerve damage, but there we go. And then after you have it, boop, just simply hit the power button. And then once all the lights are on, you simply lastly plug in the tilt sensor and you are ready to go. And if you want to show off all the things you've done in your Pixel Kit, on the bottom there's even a mount where you can put it on a tripod. Now, the scroll knob on the side, you guys can see there are numbers one, two, and three. These are your programmable profiles. And once you get this set and you do stuff that you're going, we're gonna show you later on, you can actually program three of your own things in here and bring those up at any time between the two. Now, on the front, we have a joystick. This controls your up and down, left and right. And then we have your A, B buttons to scroll through the different aspects and stuff that you're doing. But honestly, there's hours of stuff you can play around with this before you even get into the programming aspect. But now let's jump in and and let's see why the Pixel Kit is a great educational tool for children all the way up to adults who want to have fun and learn at the same time. The first step of getting set up and doing your program with the Pixel Kit is connecting the USB cable. One end goes into the Pixel Kit and the other goes into any available USB port on your computer. Now whether you use a Mac or you use a PC, you simply download the app to match your system and then you can be up and going. Now, once you do this, you're going to find yourself in a world where you can get lost for hours and hours and hours. They have lots of different tutorials that you can check out and work with. They also have a bunch of different things that you can do. Now, one thing really cool about this that I think is going to be awesome is programming this with lights to put inside of a PC for a PC mod. Now, if you guys would like to see that, please leave a comment down below because I think this would be a really excellent thing to put right in the very front of your PC or on a side window and have something just scrolling by and making your system look even more awesome, but we'll talk about that a little later. Once you get the software up and on your computer, you can find that the programming is really simple. There's drag and drop options on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, you can see all the options for doing JavaScripting. Like I said earlier, the best thing about the Pixel Kit, however, is that anyone can use it, from a child all the way to an adult. There are games and different things you can do. Another thing that's really cool about the Pixel Kit is that other people upload their projects onto the net and you can take their projects and change them around and make those your own and that's just something that's really incredible you can take someone else's project change it around and then totally make it custom and personalized for you all right so you've made this cool game and you've made this cool project but you're like hey man what can i do with it well check it out you can actually upload it onto the pixel kit and use one of those three profiles to store your ideas right here are you someone out there who's always played games but thought, man, I'd really like to make my own game, but you're always kind of like afraid that you couldn't do it? With the Pixel Kit though, you know you absolutely can do it because you can take baby steps and take your education one step at a time until you become the master of your realm. All right, folks, real quick before I bounce out of here, a special thanks to the people over at Kano for making today's video possible and providing the Kano for us. I got to say, though, for $79, this is an absolutely great deal. You spend $10 almost every meal. You spend $5 to $15 going to a movie per hour or two hours when you're in there. And with the Kano, this thing is just pretty much, like I said, unlimited. You will get sucked in. Trust me. I give you my absolute word of honor that if you start playing with this, you you will be sucked in and have lots of fun. You'll sit in front of that computer doing stuff and you'll look up and hours and hours have passed because you've just been having fun. And at the same time, you can take a look at all that programming stuff and see how it's done until your mind put those two things together. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech in Tomorrow. Like usual, there'll be a link down below where you guys can get one of these things for yourself and have all the fun in the world that we're having here at Tech of Tomorrow. So peace out.